My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. It's the beginning of summer, and who wants to be in a hot kitchen? So I'm not turning on the oven or the burners, nothing today. We are doing a mango avocado crab stack that is so delicious. You will love it, guaranteed, and I'm pairing it with this German Riesling. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Amazing. Okay, let's start. We've got a mango right here. I have great tips on mangoes. First of all, back and forth like this. A mango has a large flat pit in the center and it always ends up exactly on the side on its flat side. So you want to stand it up like so where it ends up. Take your knife and cut straight down the side like so. Flip it around, cut straight down the side like so. And what you're going to do then, uh, then you want to take not such a sharp knife and then you're going to go through and you're going to score it, but you don't want to cut all the way through to the skin, right? You want to leave the skin there. And then this way, when you open it up, it opens like so, and then these pieces just come right off. See how easy that is? So I'm using a softer to the touch one. We are using, this mango is going to be in the mango vinaigrette. So I want a little softer to the touch mango because it's going to be creamier in the vinaigrette. And so let me finish up with this and we'll get this all in the food processor. We have our mango now in the food processor. Let's start getting this mango vinaigrette going. We have some fresh squoze OJ, please, orange juice from an orange. All the exact measurements are right down below in the description center. I throw a garlic clove in there, some fresh cilantro in there, and we want a little touch of honey. You're thinking honey? Because we have, you know, the sweetness from the mango, but uh, with our vinaigrette that we're adding, which is right now, some white wine vinaigrette is going right on in. Okay, and then we need an emulsifier. And we are going to do that with our Dijon mustard. Hello. And we got to salt it, of course. We got to put a little bit of salt in there. There we go. That looks good. And let's put this lid on and let's process it. And we'll add the olive oil while it's going. Drizzle the olive oil right on in. There we go. That looks delicious. Wow. Now look how creamy this is. Look how creamy this is. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That's going to be awesome on the crab. Ugh. Let's start cutting up our other stuff to go along with the stack. Okay, now for our mango layer, we're just not going to put mangoes. We're going to flavor it up, right? So I have a Fresno chili, a red chili, just so you can see what it looks like here. I already have it diced up and chopped up. You can keep the seeds in if you want the heat. Um, and I love the color that it adds. It's sweeter uh, than a jalapeno. So I, I like the actual Fresno instead of the jalapeno in that. But if you could only find a jalapeno, I get that. Some red chopped onions I threw in there. Some cilantro going right on in. And we want some lime juice. So half of a lime. Woo! That one was <laughs> squirted all over. Okay. You are done. And because we gave tartness with the lime juice, we're just going to add a touch of honey to this. Not a lot, just very little. And of course, 
we need to salt this layer also. So let's get that all in and we'll mix this all up. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks with all the different colors. Sweetness with a little bit of heat from the Fresno chili. Ah, oh, yes, I love that. Okay, see how quick and easy? Mango layer, done. Now let's just uh, get started on the rest of them. Okay, we have all of our layers here. Let's get a stack in. We have our crab right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. It's what they call a pasteurized crab. You could use a fresh or pasteurized. Pasteurized just means that it is cooked along with the fresh. You're always getting cooked crab and then canned afterwards or, uh, or put in plastic and it lasts for uh, a good bit. So I'm just adding a little bit of our mango vinaigrette and some salt right to the crab. Not a lot, and you only want to add it right when you're ready to eat because definitely the vinaigrette will start to break down the crab. So you just want to add it right when you're ready to eat it. And let's make the plate fancy with our vinaigrette, right? So let's do a couple drizzles of our vinaigrette. And then we're going to put our little stacker right here in the middle. And we want to first start with our avocado one. A trick to keep it from turning brown is a little bit of lime juice and salt is in here. So uh, two tablespoons of uh, the avocado and just do a little bit of a press down there at the bottom so it all forms up pretty nice, right? And then we go from there to our mango mixture which we did. Put that in there, the same amount, right down below of the mango mixture. Okay, beautiful, and just do a little press. And then we have our crab, right on in. Beautiful, beautiful. And this crab smells so good, it really does. Oh yes. And just do a little press. And, and then you slowly work your shell out. And if you don't have one of these, look how beautiful that is. That is amazing. And I love to garnish it with a little bit of the red Fresnos around there for a little bit more heat. If you don't like heat, you can don't need to garnish that. You can garnish it with some cilantro, right? So a little bit of that. That looks so good. I'm so ready to dig into that. I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, Hit that subscribe button so you can join in on all of our Tuesday fun of eating and drinking and just having a good time. And do not forget to pair this awesome German Riesling with it. It has notes of peaches mm, and phenomenal minerality. And it's very bright. And the acidity is just perfect, perfect level. I'll put all that information down below, but we got to dig into this. This is so delicious. Look at this. Oh yeah. Come on. A little bit of everything. A little bit of mango. A little bit of... Mmm. Oh my god. I am in heaven. <laughs> that is so good. Oh. And it's light. It's refreshing. Mm. I can't wait for you guys to try it because you will love it. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine, and we'll see you next Tuesday.